What is up, y'all? Dylan back here, and I just want to make a quick uh, video on Tennessee's win over Iowa in the Citrus Bowl on Monday by a final score of 35 to nothing. Uh, I forgot to do a post-game video on Monday, and I just kept forgetting about it and forgetting about it until I... You know, finally, you know, finally I remember to do it now. So, hey, better late than never. So, like I said, Tennessee beats Iowa in the Citrus Bowl by a final score of 35 to nothing. And if you're a Tennessee fan, you know that the story of the game was how good... Uh, Nico uh, Im, Imali, Maliava, you know, you know, Tennessee's quarterback, you know, five-star quarterback that we got from the state of California. He was a, you know, he's a redshirt freshman. He's going to be Tennessee starter next year. The story of the game is how good Nico looked. And... As good as Nico looked on Monday, that's got uh, us Tennessee fans rightfully excited. Because, I mean, Nico looked good on, on Monday. He looked good. He looked good. And keep in mind, I know, look, I know some people's going to say, oh, it was just Iowa. Well, Iowa has one of the best defenses in, in the country. Or one, well, now that their season is over, Iowa had one of the best defenses in the country. Now, Iowa did, did have the absolute worst offense in all of college football. I mean, it wasn't even close. And it definitely showed on, on Monday. But, it was still impressive. But Nico's performance was still impressive. Because like I said, Iowa had one of the best defenses in the country. Uh, Nico, I believe, went uh, 12 for 19. I want to say 191 yards. And um, one touchdown pass. However... Nico did have three rushing touchdowns. So, well, said, Nico looked Nico looked awesome. He looked awesome, and I'm excited to see what Nico can do next season. And so, we'll see what Tennessee does. Excuse me, one minute. But yeah, but yeah, like I said, um, awesome win for Tennessee to end the season. You know, obviously I would have liked Tennessee to be in the college football playoff and playing for a national title this coming Monday, but, but, but I am satisfied with a good bowl win, you know, and with some momentum heading in, heading into next season. So yeah, yeah. So, that's all I got as far as Tennessee is concerned. Um, Sunday is the, la you know, Sunday will be the last week of the regular season in the NFL. And from what I read, oh, and the Falcons do play the Saints, even though, like, God, I wish the Falcons had already clinched the NFC South before this week, but for the Falcons to make the playoffs, they have to win, and the Buccaneers have to lose to the Panthers. And even if the Falcons win, I do not see the Buccaneers losing to the Panthers. I just don't see it. So I honestly think after Sunday, the Falcons' season will come to an end. 
And in what's been a very disappointing and frustrating season in a year, in a year where the Falcons were supposed to get back to the playoffs, but Arthur Smith and the offense ruined all that. And from what I read, from what I read, unless the Falcons make the playoffs and go on a run, it's sounding like unless that happens, Arthur Smith will be fired. Now, now, will Arthur Smith actually get fired? Well, we'll find out. We'll find out after Sunday and that Monday. So, we'll find out. If Arthur Smith does get fired, well, first of all, um, I am not going to do a postseason video at Post game video after the Falcons game against the Saints on Sunday, win or lose. Just this season's just been so frustrating. I just, I don't know. Just the Falcons, the Falcons have just pissed me off more than they've made me happy this year. Boy, and of course that's been happening the last few years. However, if the Falcons do happen to fire Arthur Smith, I will do a video on that. And so, if and when that happens, that would be my next video. So, yeah. So, I just want to make this quick video. And I didn't want it to be long. So, um, subscribe to the channel if you're new. Smash that, th that like button, the thumbs up button. And um, notification, and also hit hit the notification bell. Um, sharing this video and my channel to your social media outlets. Hit me up on Twitter at Dylan Blurton. Twitter handle will be in the description. Also, if you want to donate to my Cash App, um, I would very much appreciate it. But uh, my Cash App is dollar sign Dylan Blurton. That will also be in the description. However, no one is obligated to donate, donate to my cash app. So, I'm uh, just letting you know that. So, I'm going to go ahead and end this video. Hope everyone has a good night. And I'll see you in the next one.